share with them. Uh, just a brief reminder of the rest of the activities of this week. Wednesday night at 6, there will be a service here, uh, what we call Blue Christmas, or the service of the longest night, uh, in which we pause to remember that uh, Christmas is not always a joyous time for everyone. And as a church family, we reach out and share uh, that grief and sorrow for many different ways. And so we invite you to come and share in that, if you will. And then uh, Christmas Eve at 6 p.m. and 11 p.m., we will have our candlelight communion. And we invite all of you to come out and share with that and join with us in the tradition of a McGill Christmas poke. And I think Ernie, we're uh, packing the pokes with. 10 o'clock Christmas Eve on Saturday. So, but now, do not if you go pack the poke, if you come at 10, 10, it's too late. Because Ernie is so efficient. They, they are really, it's better than Santa's elves. Yeah, everybody, they, everybody can help that comes, and we appreciate it. But be here on time. Again, it is so good. Uh, it's been such a wonderful Advent season so far. We've had so many wonderful services, and this one tonight, uh, is going to be very memorable. We appreciate everyone that has worked so hard. Uh, we have just such a great staff in our music and children's department, and we thank them all. May we pray. Our Father, we thank you for this season of joy, the season of Christmas. We're thankful that we can share together in this program. We're thankful for each of these children and what they bring to us. And we're reminded ever so much that each one of them are gifts from you. And we are so blessed. Now bless and keep us in this night and let us know what it means. What it means to celebrate Christmas in our hearts. In your loving and precious name we do pray. In the name of Jesus Christ who is our Lord. Amen. Good night, then go.
go right back to sleep. Our relatives had heard about this lazy cat before who lived in the church and really loved to snore. So please hold on to our, your seats as we go back in time and tell you their story in music and rhyme. Come out, everybody. The coast is clear. That lazy old cat doesn't care that we're here. I'm sure we're all hungry, so before we unpack, let's have a mouth warming. Let's have a snack. I think my ice cream is what we should eat. My ice cream is really my favorite treat. Here are the Mice Krispies with three musky toothbrush, too. And the straw of rat tat chewy will make a great stew. So many new things to do every day. That pipe organ looks like a great place to play. It's got great nooks and crannies. Come take a peek. What a fine new place for us to play hide and squeak. We have many holes, but this one is the best, and this loving organ will make a nice nest. so difficult, so hard to find the words that you need. They won't come to mind. Shoo, shoo, furry friends, run out the door. Find a new home and come back here no more. What a quiet night and a peaceful sight. Look at the stars shining so bright. Hmm. Silent night, holy 
night, all is calm, all is bright. Round yon virgin. And that night the words to the song we all know from Pastor <coughs> Moore's pen were beautifully flowed. His deep painting God blessed the way, creating words that we'll all love today. say, all I'm good for is sleeping, and he's only reduced my job to light mouse keeping. We know, we know, we heard him too, with everything else he said about you. If you don't catch every mouse in the basement, he'll get a new cat, a younger replacement. It's perfectly clear we all can read signs. He'll catapult me to the unemployment lines. It's called Cat and Mouse. I'll teach you how to play. I know a little game that I'll teach to you. A crazy little game that's fun to do. It causes confusion. It's a game of illusion. And no one ever has a clue. Call it cat and mouse, mouse and cat. A crazy little thing that is really a snap. Do a tender chase and a really tender run. We think and we squeal and it's really fun. Playing cat and mouse, mouse and cat. I see 
in and play gleefully. Yes, life seemed truly perfect until every way, until Pastor Moore played the organ that day. Yes, when Pastor Moore sat down to play, the organ gave out a huge hot and great. Tears to his ears. <laughs> Christmas <laughs> Christmas Eve is approaching. The situation's dire. There's no way that this organ can accompany a choir. There must be a solution. I must go and pray. I know that the good Lord will help find a way. What is something we ate? The mice seem to ask, why did the church organ just sputter and gasp? When the mice are down, one thought came to mind. The organ sounds bad. But we're feeling fine. Since the poor pipe organ sounded so sick, they all knew that something must be done and done quick. Pastor Moore now turned to God in prayer. He knew that the good Lord would not let him be spared. As he prayed and reflected, the answer came to light. He would use his poem from that star-studded night. So on Christmas Eve day, December 24th, Pastor Moore worked in the village of Arkansas. He brought along the poem he had written previously and asked Franz Gruber to write a melody. Welcome, good friend. I'm glad you stopped by. I'm happy to say that you're looking spry. Unfortunately, Franz, that is not quite the case. A terrible problem has just taken place. The church organ is broken and refuses to play. But with your guitar, you can save the day. Don't worry, my friend. I'll do all that I can. Do you have a suggestion? Do you have a plan? Ah, uh, my good friend, look here and see. I've written a poem, but it needs a melody. I know you can do it. Yes, you'll do it right and play it on your guitar during service tonight. We don't have much time, and that's a lot to ask. But if we put our heads together, we'll be up to the task. Papa, papa, to reach a goal. Two heads are better than one, ya ya vol. And all throughout history you'll find it's true that everything's easier when there are two. Two, two heads are better than one, ha uh -huh. Two heads get every job done, ya ya. Yes, two heads make work seem like fun, ha uh ha. -huh. It must be finished by late afternoon. Can I be better? And what could go wrong? Yes, your head plus my head, and we have a song. Two heads are better than one. Uh -huh. Two heads get every job done. Yeah, yeah. Yes, two heads make work seem like fun. Uh -huh. Two heads are better. Two heads together, yes, two heads are better than one, ya yeah, Two heads are better, put two heads together, yes, two heads are better than one, ya yeah, Through God's great glory, inspiration came soon, and to the lovely poem, Franz Gruber wrote a tune. Two servants of the Lord could not do it alone, but together wrote the greatest tone ever, ever known. This humble song would touch every soul, for it would bring to all the greatest story ever told. All around the world, this carol tells the story of God's true love of peace and glory. 
they went back to Open Door need a sky so bright to sing the new carol on Christmas Eve night. Since the organ at the church wasn't up to par, Franz Gruber sang Silent Night and played his guitar. Welcome, my friends. Merry Christmas to all. This is a happy day, but we've had a close call. Our church organ is broken, but the Lord showed the way. Let us all give thanks that he saved the day. We composed a new carol using only guitar, and we hope that the song will be sung near and far. I will sing the first verse of the song of love. Please keep inspired. It, please keep in mind it was inspired from above. Now let's invite our congregation to join our song in praise and celebration. We have given you all the words and notes. Now lift up your voices and open your throats. It's hymn number 91 in the hymnals. <laughs>
you could say those naughty mice, those naughty mice did one in the same. Had the organ not been by those critters smitten, Silent Night might have never have been written. But still, cat and mice felt awful that day. They knew it was their fault. The organ wouldn't play. They learned a lesson. Yes, that's one so true. Never ever buy a more than you can chew. Hard to solve problems that strike a sour chord become a sweet song through faith in our Lord. And though at times the path we don't understand, all things are possible through his loving hand. Now our story's over about the carol we all know. Give glory to Jesus Christ, our Lord made it so. say a very special thank you first of all to all these children for their great singing and acting tonight thank you to the children and their parents for uh, participating because uh, the a children's program is important and this will be something that you guys will remember a long time of the night that you did this musical so thank you to all of them and thank you to our children's choir leaders and workers to Lindsay and to Robin uh, uh, Doris is not be able to be here tonight, but she helps them also, and Yolanda also helps, and, and all the work that Maria and the parents and our sound and light people, and especially to Caleb Pace and to Sarah Wilson for their part in it tonight. Let's give them a big hand. And thank you all for coming. We have uh, dessert fellowship, and during uh, our dessert fellowship, uh, our guitar ensemble is going to play some and lead us in some carols. So we have more fun in store for tonight. Let's all stand. We'll have a prayer before we have our uh, fellowship time. Would you all stand? Heavenly Father, we pray that the words that have been sung tonight would be a blessing in your name. We thank you for our church that provides us with opportunities to praise your name through music and in other ways that are so important. Thank you for all these children and for the enthusiasm that they show. Now go with us as we go to our fellowship time. Thank you for the food, for all that have worked hard to prepare it. And we ask you to bless it now to the nourishment of our bodies. This we ask in thy name. Amen. This has been the Christmas musical from McGill Baptist Church in Concord, North Carolina. Santa Claus now making an appearance. Of course, the uh, children's musical in there. 
uh, programs of music are directed by Steve Harold. He had the closing prayer there. Lindsey McGill also uh, works with the music department here at McGill Baptist Church. McGill Baptist Church is located at 5300 Pomper Tent Road in Concord, North Carolina, right at the corner of George Lyles Parkway. We'd like you to know that you're welcome anytime at McGill or join us on our broadcast on the internet. We hope that God blessed you with today's service. We hope you have a blessed holiday season. And again, thank you for joining us at McGill Baptist Church.